Kilo, Papa, Four, Delta, Delta, Sugar, over. That's uh, Delta, Delta, Sugar, Roger. Right, like the dancer. Yes, sir. And the name? Tony, Tony, and Tony, Tony. Roger, Tony, and what part of North Carolina? Northwestern, where the flood occurred. Over. Uh, Roger that. And what radio are you running today, sir? Uh, 7300, and the antenna is a, what do you call it, a uh, ZN6 uh, BKW at uh, 15 feet horizontal. Over. Roger, Roger, Tony. Well, if you would uh, like some setup on that 7300, the first thing is to make sure you're in that wide transmit bandwidth, 100 to 2900. Uh, and there's uh, three options on that 7300 uh, as it comes uh, stock from the shop. Uh, and uh, we're, you know, having usually uh, going to that 100 to 2900, which uh, is the best uh, for your transmitter. It gives it the widest possible characteristics as far as upper range uh, frequency response. Uh, and then just a slice of daylight before you're into somebody else's conversation. Roger, Roger. Oh, Roger, yeah. Yeah, uh, that was done uh, several times, and I, I think I'm pretty, uh, I'm, I'm, I think I'm pretty, <laughs> the people I talk to, they say I sound pretty good, uh, but maybe I, I have the microphone too close to me. Uh, let's see, uh, uh, if I, I can give you uh, the way what I have, and then you could uh, correct that. Uh, the mic gain, I have it at 24%, the compression, 4%. And uh, the power I have at 100 because I have the linear off. Uh, over. Yes, sir. Well, uh, there's a sequence. Uh, that we usually go through that uh, works out quite well and once we uh, nail down the fact that you're in that uh, wide uh, transmit bandwidth 100 to 2900 then we move to the compressor uh, and uh, on at a 3 compression on at a 3 on that 7300 Roger Roger okay it was on 4 I lowered it to 3 yeah over Yes, sir. Then uh, move to your ALC with a uh, mic gain in hand. And as you say the word audio, uh, don't stress it, just say it. Uh, adjust your mic gain until your ALC meter is running uh, two thirds. Roger. Okay, uh, this is uh, KP4 DDS. Uh, uh, the ALC, I uh, you know, it's a. Uh, <laughs> I'm reading it's a little bit below uh, the, where it says PO power 50, it's a little bit below that, over. Roger, so take your mic gain and bring your mic gain up until your ALC meter reads two-thirds, Roger. Uh, okay, let's see, uh, what time? Okay, uh, it, but the, AL, the mic gain is on, uh, on the 24 percent. Uh, I think you're going to be around 50. You're using the uh, the uh, stock hand mic, I can tell, Roger. Oh, uh, that is correct. Yes, sir. Well, first off, uh, what you want to do in using that mic is pull it to the corner of your lips and talk across it. Do not talk directly into it. Uh, you'll minimize all kinds of mouth noise if you just pull it to the corner of your lips. Actually, touch the corner of your lips and, uh, and uh, use that mic that way, Roger. Talking into it and talking a little bit off to the side. No problem. Uh, uh, thank you very much. Uh, it is, <laughs> I think some other people may need more help tonight. This is uh, KP4 DDS uh, camping. Roger. Well, now that we've got the uh, you're using that mic correctly, actually touch the corner of your lips. Uh, with that mic as you as you talk and then uh, you know make sure that you're at the two-thirds mark on your ALC meter when you do that Roger yeah my ALC is, is not going beyond uh, the red it's uh, <laughs> I don't know which uh, scale you want to use but uh, when it says uh, compression there it's uh, a little bit above 10 uh, over 
Yeah, if you have the compression set on three, you don't have to worry about that anymore. That's uh, that's uh, just perfect right there. It's that ALC that you need to uh, to get uh, perfect, you know, because that makes a, a big difference in your uh, dynamic range. And we're looking for about a 3 dB. So I would suppose if you're using that hand mic, you would want to be up around uh, 40, uh, 40, 45, somewhere around in there, Roger. Okay, Roger. This is KP4. Yeah, yeah, it is. It, 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 it's, it's a little, it doesn't reach 50, but uh, yeah, it, it, uh, it, it looks pretty good. Uh, over. Roger, it sounds pretty good too. Just uh, just keep awareness about that uh, uh, operating that mic. That's a great mic. Uh, Bob Howell did a great job on de designing that mic, but it is uh, an electric condenser mic, and uh, so uh, you must uh, work it towards the side of your lips uh, to avoid any kind of uh, uh, mouth noises that you'll incur if you work directly uh, directly into it. Roger. Oh, okay, very good. Yeah, yeah. I, I just uh, the, the thing is, I can't, I can't. Uh Uh, KP4 DDS, uh, Canton, North Carolina. Uh, we, we didn't have any bad damages except that uh, by uh, air conditioning, uh, uh, you know, the wall unit uh, went bad. I got that repaired. Uh, uh, we didn't get flooded because uh, we're, we're high up. Uh, we're <laughs> near, near the cemetery. So <laughs> the, the city, the city, they really got. Uh, Okay, thank you very much. This is uh, KP4 DDS, uh, Canton, North Carolina. I uh, just let you know, age here is 83. Uh, U.S. Air Force veteran back in when President Eisenhower was president. Uh, oh. Roger Tony, now if you are familiar with that uh, 7300, uh, I would suggest uh, about uh, two clicks uh, treble boost. Uh, from where you are. Two clicks additional treble boost from uh, where you are, Roger. Okay, okay, let, let me uh, switch this thing around and see if I can find it. You have a, a beautiful bottom end on that microphone and where you're working it. You just need a little more articulation, a little more uh, top end for, for balance, Roger. Okay, very good. Uh, okay, I'll, I'll be back. This is KP4 DDS. Thank you. Roger, Roger. And I would also suggest leaving the... Um the ALC meter out so you can look at it as you talk to your friends and neighbors around the world. And uh, try to keep that uh, ALC meter in the sweet spot of two-thirds as you talk, you know. And over a period of time, you'll develop a relationship with that uh, ALC meter. And uh, you'll be able to just control it right in that sweet spot, which is uh, where you want to be. Roger? Okay, very good. All right, then. Thank you very much. This is Dr. Uh, when I set up this antenna and the feed line was 90 degrees, uh, I had the same uh, signal strength as my 80 meter loop. But when the uh, feed line was at 45 degrees, it, it, it was stronger. This, this uh, antenna is stronger now than the loop. Uh, I can't figure out why, but anyway, uh, someday I'll, I'll be able to figure it out. Roger, Tony. Well, usually, um, I'm assuming you have a, a at least a two-way switch there to switch between antennas, and and you can get a simultaneous uh, test from one antenna to the other, a simultaneous comparison from the one antenna to the other, which is very very nice. And uh, also remember that when a station starts coming in better on one antenna, the transmit to that station will probably be be better from from you to it so in that regards uh, you know a two-way switch is just worth its weight in gold uh, you can really uh, tell the difference between maybe one antenna and the other so you always want to go to the hottest antenna which will usually be best for receive and uh, transmit roger oh yes this is a kp4 dbs yeah well exactly but what i did find is that on, on 40 meters uh, 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 the, uh, uh, this, this antenna, uh, sorry if I'm making my...
the the, uh, the 80 meter loop now uh, on 40 meters now. And, and the loop uh, is real low, it's going to be on every place. But uh, this one, uh, people say, well, <laughs> how come it's stronger? I don't know. I don't understand. There's a friend of mine uh, who, who, who had a similar, similar antenna and he put it at 25 degrees and the, the thing was stronger. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I looked it up to this guy, uh, what's his name, uh, uh, David uh, Kessler or whatever, and uh, they asked him about it and he said that he thinks it has more gain if you put it at an angle instead of 90 degrees. Because I, I, I said I put it exactly, you know, 46 feet on each side and 40, <laughs> 40 the lateral line 40 feet, and uh, uh, it was the same as the loop. But when I put it at uh, 17 uh, feet, uh, the feed line, uh, not, excuse me, uh, 47 feet, the feed line, and and uh, I moved it to the side and the angle, man, that the SWR got real bad. But the reception got better, you know. So, so right now, on on this band, uh, on a, a 6.5 is one to one. But if I shorten the antenna uh, and uh, uh, <laughs> make it one to one on seven microcycles, I have less reception. So anyway, uh, anyway, well, thank you very much. Uh, I'm sure other people uh, need your assistance. This is uh, kp 4 dbs uh, Canton, North Carolina. Roger, Roger, uh, Tony. Uh, gosh, I was uh, trying to get. Uh, I've got a uh, uh, an SDR in Boone, North Carolina. I was trying to bring up, but uh, I guess it's not available today, so I wasn't wasn't able to do that. But uh, if uh, you'd like to hear what your radio's doing, uh, gosh, uh, we're recording, have been recording. So um, if you go to YouTube and do a call letter search for KC9 VKV, followed by the word logbook. Uh, on a YouTube search uh, that'll bring up this recording and we'll have it uh, uploaded by noon tomorrow Roger okay well very good thank you very much uh, I'll be standing by this is uh, KP4DDS uh, Canton North Carolina uh, I always like to give <laughs> supposed to be uh, 2,873 feet above sea level That that's uh, my my height and uh, Asheville is uh, it's only 2,000 feet high, so so we're a little bit higher than Asheville. Okay, well, thank you. This is uh, KP4 DBS. Uh, Roger, Roger, Tony. Well, gosh, uh, let me say 73 to you, sir. And uh, if you get a chance to join us next Friday, we'd love to have you. This is the Friday afternoon QSO VLUGNET. If you have a radio you want to check out, give me a shout.